Telling you about the ongoing efforts to shut down the open air sex market that's been operating along Roosevelt Avenue in Queens. Well, last night, Pick 7's Eileen LaPalmer introduced you to a woman who survived being abducted and forced into prostitution. And tonight, Eileen looks at what the NYPD and others are doing to stop this in part two of her series, Stopping Sex Sales. It's a sight that's become all too common. Women sitting on the sidewalk along Roosevelt Avenue offering sex in exchange for money. Yeah. This interaction happening even as state police and Homeland Security investigations join the NYPD in raiding certain establishments. This is the worst block of Roosevelt Avenue. It's all part of Operation Restore Roosevelt, which launched one month ago. And while the NYPD is declining to provide specific numbers until the end of the 90-day operation, Deputy Commissioner Kaz Daughtry tells us the results so far are like night and day. Look how clear it is. Any time of the day you come here a, a couple weeks ago, you will see this place jam-packed with just prostitutes. That is gone. And that is the result of these officers here and the multi-agency task force that Mayor Adams put together. It looks much better than before, that's for sure. Every person's journey out of exploitation is different. Mitha Chowdhury with Empower New York has also been part of the operation. After the raids on the alleged brothels, she and other staffers waited at a secure location to meet with those who were picked up by police. She says most were immigrants. Our main goal was to connect with the survivors, let them know that help is available, and provide our information. Many of the individuals um, were lured into the sex trade with false promises of work, or they were coerced with threats. On the legislative front, there's a battle brewing between lawmakers who want to completely decriminalize all aspects of prostitution and those who want to still charge the Johns and the pimps. As your reporting has shown, already the sex trade is alive and well throughout this city. We have elected officials here who think that that is the future for New York City. Sonia Osorio, the executive director of the National Organization for Women in New York City, says full decriminalization will cause more harm and that nothing will change until cultural attitudes do first. Prostitution is not the oldest profession. It's the oldest oppression. Buying sex is a harmful cultural practice and it can change. My goodness, smoking is now stigmatized and you can't do it anywhere. I have a lot of mixed feelings about <laughs> the raids that have been happening with NYPD. And Melanie Thompson, a Queens native who was abducted and forced into prostitution at the age of 12, says to support full decriminalization means believing that women in the sex trade have a choice. And she says 95% do not. You have to have true privilege and a true plethora of resources to be able to make a decision where you can choose to engage in prostitution. The majority of us end up in prostitution because of a lack of resources and a lack of choice. I always say you can't make a choice if you don't have choices. In Queens, Eileen LaPalmer, Pix11 News.